What's up, guys? I'm back with another movie review. This is another one from Wild Eye Releasing, and it is American Mummy. Um, this one starts off with an archaeological dig in New Mexico where they happen upon a perfectly preserved mummy. Um, you know, that right off the bat kind of puts a fresher spin on this story than a lot of the mummy movies out there. But anyway, one, there's a girl that's involved with the uh, archaeological crew. She has a secret plan of her own. Um, she's going to use a blood ritual that she read about in this ancient dark tome and she's going to bring the lord of the dead who is that's who this mummy belongs to uh she's going to bring the lord of the dead back into the world of the living uh she does this again through a blood ritual she uses her own blood all over his corpse and then she decides she's going to fuck him back to life um she gets on and just cowgirls like a mad woman uh, it doesn't go exactly as she plans after it's over she starts vomiting green shit everywhere and then she dies but Thanks to the magic of a powerful, otherworldly, supernatural STD, she's brought back to life as a sex-crazed, demonic banshee, essentially. Um, and she wants to fucking kill everything that's in her path. Um, and essentially, that's how this STD is going to spread. It's going to go from person to person as these possessed people uh, pass it along. So there's a big danger that it's going to spread into the uh, you know wide world, and that's what the movie is: is does it spread? Are they able to contain it? What happens to these sex crazed, STD riddled, you know, archaeological folks? Um, I really like this movie. I think it's a lot of fun. It definitely has like an old school, hokey monster movie feel to it, but I think that's one of the reasons that I really like it. Um, this is not an action movie, unlike the more recent mummy movies. This one feels like a horror movie. Um, it has a lot of old school practical effects. They look a little bit dusty, but they, I think they look cool. And I would rather have hokey effects than digital effects. Um, there's not a ton of blood in it, but there's a lot more than I was expecting. A guy gets torn in half, body parts are lopped off, uh, blood covered sex, all kinds of blood in this one. Just cool. Uh, practical again, practical effects. I cannot say how enough how awesome that is. Um, it does have a little bit of nudity, a few topple scenes, some bare ass, but not a ton of sleaze. Um, Dialogue-wise, it has one crazy character who has a, just a terrible accent and rants and raves. Um, overall, it's just a really fun, brisk, indie horror movie that I think is the best mummy movie in a long time. I mean, it's just a lot of fun to watch. Uh, yeah, I mean, as far as, be, it, like, good, good, I don't know. But, I mean, to me, it's better than any of the mummy movies i've seen in a long time um the blu-ray is from wild eye releasing it has the 2d and 3d versions of the movie it's got behind the scenes outtakes trailers um the transfer looks really really nice i don't have the capability for 3d so i just watched the 2d version uh the transfer looks really nice very very clear very well detailed all the std madness will be razor sharp in your living room um i think the disc is worth picking up i was so surprised to see this is in like walmart Redbox, everywhere which i think is awesome i hope a lot of people are able to discover it and check it out and then from there branch off you know to more indie horror um i i really like the movie if you like monster movies if you like old school practical gore if you just like fun well-made indie movies um american mummy definitely hits that the disc from wild eye is cheap it's well made um you know it's got it's got the extras it's got a great transfer uh just don't don't sleep on american mummy um it's a really solid movie if you guys like this review check out my website markfusion.com i've got hundreds of more reviews on there uh for horror cult exploitation video games anime cartoons everything you could think of um i'm also on twitter twitch instagram at mark fusion i would greatly appreciate a sub here if you're not um if you're not a sub already thank you very much for watching these videos i do really really appreciate it and hopefully i'll see you soon